Thank you. It's very nice. I love the fact that it's high ceiling. It's nice, but sometimes the glass, having that much glass on an uh -huh. actual house, it could get a little irritating having that much sunlight coming to the house, so I had to put these really big blinds up. To, doesn't to that it. much glass keep a house warm? Yeah, I mean, it, and cold when it's freezing. That's true. Right? <laughs> That's true. That's true. You know? But then again, you know, you, you said you had a realtor. Uh, you know, look for this house for Yeah, you. show me around. What speaks to you when you walk into a house that you're about to buy? What has to be, this is it? What's the this is it factor? Well, I guess the mood of the actual rooms. Mm -hmm. I, I think people should market their homes with furniture in them. Mm -hmm. You know, instead of just leaving it completely blank. Yeah. Because then people got to envision how nice it could be versus, you know, walking in and seeing it all the way. Yeah. Right? Like... Up here is like the master bedroom. Right okay. there, that whole top floor is where the master bedroom is at. Even over there? Yeah, that's like a little reading area that nobody uses anymore because we don't have to have encyclopedias anymore. We have <laughs> Google. No, yeah. but you have to have books. You have to have the, fifth, the 50th law and, yeah. you know, got to put it there so Different that your things. guests have reading material. Oh, I should show you areas that I usually don't go in very much. The kitchen. Oh, yeah? The kitchen is over the there. The kitchen? <laughs> Wait, wait, uh, look what I got. Oh, bam! Vitamin water. water. Ah. <laughs> no, but then, you know, you're so secretive. I'm trying to get this out of you. Who does the cooking? Who's the car seat for? Yeah, I mean, it depends on if, if I have guests come over. Mm -hmm. We'll have someone who doesn't usually do it because I'm going to ask a special person to come in and cook so it's something better uh -huh. than the normal foods because I usually eat really healthy. Oh, okay. You what, know, what's I'm your favorite meal? Health conscious. I eat a lot of baked chicken. Not so fried, but a lot of greens, vegetables, uh, okay, I was broccoli, you to asparagus, you draw the water out your body, different things. <laughs> okay, well that explains the muscle. Yeah, but like I, when you pick out, what do you pick out on? Because everybody has... Oh, I, I eat everything I'm not supposed to. You see, I've been mean, got fruity pebbles here. No, but fruity pebbles That's not the you. traditional health... <laughs> Healthy uh, breakfast, you know, maybe we should have some egg whites, a little turkey, but, you know. Egg whites? <laughs> yeah. No, but t tell me more about your other guilty pleasures. Do you have, do you have like a candy thing? Do you like I do. Candy? I like chocolate. Chocolate. Dark yeah. or milk chocolate? I hate dark chocolate. Dark uh, milk chocolate, chocolate yeah. Okay, dark good. Because as healthy as it is, it's and, a bore. And it leaves a taste in your mouth. It's very nice. But I like more. the fact that you like hardwood finishes. Yeah, was, I, I thought it was cool, you know. I still need help. I got to get an interior decorator to come in and help me Also, fix that, that was just you. Yeah, well, that was... Portions of that stuff was there already. Okay. Because I liked, you know, the way it felt when I came in. I told them I wanted to buy the furniture, too. Oh, and they were comfortable with that. They just said yes. Yeah, yeah, take that. Because, I mean, when you move into a whole new place, a lot of times you'll go... For me, it's, it's easier to look at it and say, I like this. Uh-huh. To leave that, I make changes to things that aren't really cool to me, but leave some of the stuff there. Leave some of the stuff. Now, how many rooms did you say this house has? This one has four. Four? Four. Yeah. So this is like a real house. To me, my house in Connecticut is ridiculous. Now, I feel like that now. Yeah. You know, it was a huge Being accomplishment. A little yeah, I mean, we got 18 bedrooms, 37 Ooh. bathrooms. It's a, like a small hotel. It's a monster. No, it's a mansion. Yeah. That's a monster mansion. The, I call it the monster because initially just being able to... Afford a home. Actually, Right. To mm. afford it was the accomplishment and the excitement that was tied to the actual property. Yeah. And it was previously owned by Mike Tyson. Ah. So, you know, it was exciting to get in and, and have it because I'm a fan of Mike at the same time. So you bought the house because you were a fan of Mike or... Well, not because I was a fan, but because I could afford it with no problem at that point. Okay. Like, so I bought it wasn't the about Mike at all. No, it added to the excitement of it, okay. you know, because the place, I mean, it's interesting. Mike had it at a time that things were different, so style-wise, it kind of felt like Miami Vice had that funny little green and 
purple and stuff for us. I had to change a lot of stuff. Okay. So do you like to entertain? I do. Because I know you're a Cancerian like me, and we like to stay home sometimes. If I'd rather be here than outside. Yes. I'd, I'd, I'd rather be here too.